Hi, I'm Jameis. This is Regular Matworks, and I'm making a brief video on how to update your GNS3 VM. I have previous videos in this playlist. Uh, you're welcome to go look at them. Uh, it shows you how we're going to use GNSC inside of Proxmox and all that good stuff. But this will apply to any GNS3 VM. I don't know if it'll apply to the ESXi version. Um, if you know, comment down below. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get started. So we're going to come over here and we are going to SSH to our server. So we're going to SSH, we're going to log in. All right, cool. So we're logged in. So first thing I want to see is I want to see which versions of GNS3 we have available. So because we installed GNS3 the way we did, it means we're just pulling it from regular re repos, um, which means all we have to do is sudo uh, update and sudo apt upgrade. So we're going to start by doing an update. So sudo apt update dash y. Put our password, and it's going to sync all our respiratories, repos. Yeah, I've never really heard anybody pronounce that word around me, so I don't know which is the right word. <laughs> it's no big deal. This doesn't take very long at all. All right, so we see upgradable packages. So let's look at all of our upgradable packages. So we don't see... Oh, that's interesting. We don't see GNS3 in there. Anyhow, it's not a huge deal because it's going to upgrade, update GNS3 anyway. So if we want to see which version of GNS3 it's going to push us to, we can do a sudo. sudo apt search GNS3. And we'll see right there it's going to push us to 2.2.35.1 once we do the upgrade. So let's go ahead and do the upgrade. All right, and we're upgrading. Now, where I show you that 2.2.35, we just want to verify this the same version we're going to be running on our client. See, I'm at gns3.com. You can see that right here. We go over to the free download. It shows us the version here, here, and here. They're all pushed to the same version. So the thing you really have to check, um, I've read where some people have talked about having some version compatibilities between the VM and what's on the web. It's never happened to me. Um, I've been I've been running this setup for a little bit over a year and a half. Actually, I've been, no, yeah, I've, I've been running this setup for about a year and a half, and it's never been an issue for me. Um, I don't update mine religiously. I update mine once every two, three months. But every time, it's been a pretty straightforward, pretty easy process. We're right here to the virtual machine. It's done updating. So all we have to do is a sudo apt. Oh, whoops. Sudo reboot. And that's it. It'll take about a minute or two. So let's do a ping. Because this is Windows, we need to do a ping dash c to do continuous. Ping dash t to do continuous. But, um,. Yeah, this virtual machine will come back up here in just a second. There we go. It's back up. Let's SSH back to it. And there we go. That's it. We just upgraded the GNS3 virtual machine. I hope this is helpful. I'm Jameis. This is Regular Networks.